In today's video, I'm going to be checking out a video that YouTube just dropped onto my home page, told me, recommended for you. I saw it and I thought that, uh, you know, I should get to check it out with you. We should check it out together. This clip is called, Who is Mineskin? So I'm assuming it's a Mineskin profile. I typically like these types of clips, this unhelpful guide to unhelpful guide to bts and helpful guide to whatever one direction yeah i typically like those types of clips so um yeah uh, if you want to check out more maneskin on this channel make sure to smash like subscribe and uh let's check this out i'm going to leave the link in the description section in case you want to check it out without me pausing okay let's go maneskin is an italian rock group composed of vocalist damiano david bassist victoria de angelis guitarist thomas raji and drummer ed Torcio. After finishing second in the Italian X Factor, the quartet rose to fame, creating prominence worldwide. Wait a minute, did this, did this man just say Italian X Factor? That's what she just said? Oh, I was not aware of that. Second in the Italian X Factor, the quartet rose to fame, creating prominence worldwide by winning the Eurovision Song Contest. Hey guys, and welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, Who Is? Today we'll discover the artists behind the Monoskin identity. Find out how four students from Rome came to be global superstars and who is Marlena, the name mentioned. Four, four students from Rome would indicate that they were in school together, high school, campus. Today we'll discover the artists behind the Monoskin identity. Find out how four students from Rome came to be global superstars and who is Marlena, the name mentioned in so many of their songs. Before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep updated with all of our latest content. Though Damiano David is the oldest member of Maneskin, born in January 1999 and has risen to fame as the Born January 1999 would make him what right now? 22, 23, 23, 23, yeah? Wow, he looks, he looks much older. Frontman, it was Victoria De Angelis and Thomas Raji who originated the band after meeting in high school and developing a shared love of they met in high school music. In August 2015, Victoria and Thomas decided to bring their band to life, enlisting Damiano as lead singer. After posting an ad on Facebook, they completed the band with Ethan on drums. Following their formation, the band registered for Pulse, a local music competition for which they needed a name. Victoria is half Danish, so her bandmates suggested that she add some Danish words to the mix. Maneskin means moonlight in Danish and was the name chosen by the band, though it has no particular relation to them or their style, it was just the name they liked. In preparation for Pulse, the band had to start writing their own songs, which they performed at the Felt Music Club and school for 200 to 300 people and walked away with the first prize. Starting their career on the streets, this foursome They walked away with first prize, I mean Money skin And walked away with the first prize Starting their career on the streets, this foursome began busking on Colli Potuensi and Via del Corso, one of the main streets in Rome The band's first foray away from their home city took place in Faenza where they hosted a live show to an audience of 30 members Wanting to expand their audience and success, the band began to play together more regularly to increase cohesiveness. It wasn't until 2017 that the band began to gain recognition. Appearing on the 11th season of the Italian X Factor, Maneskin covered popular songs such as The Four Seasons Beggin and Franz Ferdinand's Take Me Out. You're telling me that Beggin is not an original? <laughs> Uh, Begin is not an original. It is by, that's what he just said right now, right? That they are, it's not an original, it's by a band called Four Seasons. <sighs> Maneskin's version of Begin sounds like an original. If you had told me it was an original, I would have believed you. Also, he just said 11th season of Italian X Factor, meaning that for a while, Maneskin was not big outside Italy until Eurovision, yeah? Gain recognition. Appearing on the 11th season of the Italian X Factor, Maneskin covered popular songs such as The Four Seasons Beggin and Franz Ferdinand's Take Me Out, under the guidance of mentor Manuel Agnelli. These performances paved the way to success and saw them play second on the highly acclaimed show. During the X Factor, Maneskin performed one of their own songs, Cho Oh, Ethan's, Ethan's, Ethan's t-shirt. 
Ethan's t-shirt and my t-shirt. <laughs> nice. Which they released as a single. Sorry, not not Ethan. Sorry, Thomas. Thomas. Thomas's t-shirt. And okay, I'm done. Maneskin performed one of their own songs, "Chosen," which they released as a single in November 2017, placing at number two on the Italian charts. In March of 2018, the band released their first Italian language single with Morido da Re, which allowed their commercial success to continue in Italy. I have reacted to Morido da Re, so I leave it here at the end screen. In October of the same year, Maneskin released their debut album, Il Ballo della Vita, with its ballad single, Torna a Casa, topping the Italian charts. The band also released a documentary style film called This is Maneskin. Nicolo Celaya and Antonio Usbergo directed the film, which followed which I have not seen, which I have not seen at all. This is Maneskin. Nicolo Celaya and Antonio Usbergo directed the film, which followed the band in their early stages of fame, where the spotlight had not yet been cast upon them. Still, the pressures of the creative world were firmly resting on their shoulders, opening up about their personalities, dreams, conflicts, and a burning desire to express their inner selves through music. The documentary cast a light on the artistic lifestyle of these four young musicians. Releasing various singles from their debut album, Maneskin experienced top 10 chart placings, platinum rated singles, and a sellout tour across the UK, Spain, Germany, France, Switzerland, and Belgium. In September 2018, the band also performed alongside Imagine Dragons, who were touring in Milan. In late 2019, the band relocated to London, where they based themselves until the spring of 2020. During this time, the band worked on their style and they created new material, announcing a new recording project, Teatro de Ira, and the release of their second album, Volume 1. With a surprise win at the San... Wait a minute, why is the second album called Volume 1? <laughs> That's what he just said. The second album was called Volume 1. And they created new material, announcing a new recording project, Teatro de Ira, and the release of their second album, Volume 1. With a surprise win at the San Remo Music Festival, Italy chose Maneskin to represent them at the 2021 Eurovision Song Contest. The 65th edition of the Eurovision Song Contest took place in Rotterdam. 65th and beef, beef, beef. 65th and yet bef before Maneskin stepped on that stage, I didn't even know about Eurovision, man. Chose Maneskin to represent them at the 2021 Eurovision Song Contest. The 65th edition of the Eurovision Song Contest took place in Rotterdam in the Netherlands, where an audience of 183 million viewers saw Italy's representatives win with a landslide victory of 524 points, performing their song, Ziti El Buoni. Following their success, the band has gone on to have two singles, Ziti e Buoni and I Wanna Be Your Slave, chart in the US Billboard's Top 20, while their songs I Wanna Be Your Slave and Beggin have both placed in the Top 10 UK singles charts. This achievement makes them the only Eurovision winners and the only Italian band to have two singles in the Top 10 on the UK Respect. music charts. The band cites Radiohead, David Bowie, Harry Styles, Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Doors, and the Rolling Stones as their music and fashion icons. But who is the mysterious Marlena mentioned in five of their singles? Where well, Marlena is not a person, but a concept that represents freedom and creativity. The idea of Marlena is to embody all of the band members plus their fans too. In true rock and roll style, the band faced a backlash of controversy when a video of Damiano allegedly snorting cocaine was released on the internet. The band vehemently denied the use of cocaine, which was confirmed when Damiano took a voluntary drug test. With its male members frequently donning eyeliner, nail polish, and bright colors, the band is keen to challenge stereotypes and identity. Victoria has previously said, you just grew up being told who you are and who you should be, and you don't even get to get in contact with yourself and understand who you truly are. Maneskin is set to release a new studio album before the end of the year. Okay. With several concerts scheduled, including an Italian tour for 2022, which has already sold over 100,000 tickets. As Damiano said following the band's Eurovision victory, rock and roll never dies. Thanks for watching today's Who Is video, exploring Maneskin's journey to success. If you have a suggestion for our next video, please comment below and hit the subscribe button to receive all of our latest content.
Great video, great video. Uh, I'm curious to see what the comment says. This is a band that is probably going to become legends. Their voice, the voice their lead singer has, the energy that the other ones have, the, cu the cuteness the bass player has. <laughs> Victoria, they're gonna be huge. Wow. I really enjoyed checking this out and uh, I have never seen a profile on Maneskin before. So if you enjoyed my reaction, make sure to smash like and subscribe. If you're a huge fan of Maneskin, make sure to smash like and subscribe. I've reviewed so much Maneskin on this channel. I'm going to leave a couple of the clips here in the playlist. And then this video that I just reviewed, I'm going to leave the link in the description section. And then I hope to see you in the next reaction.